better than me, I hope. Well, I'm going a little crazy over here. You know, I've this is probably the ninth time I recorded this video, and you want to know why? Clicks! 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 I hate them. You guys don't want to watch my videos if they have the clicks in them, but I do keep my best to get rid of them. But they keep coming back. It's like, because I got rid of them, they want to kill me. And if I try to noise reduce them away... Oh, it sounds like I'm talking through a tin fucking can and nobody wants to hear that. If any of you know how to fix that, please let me know. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, let's play this level. Safe Cracker. The basic idea of this level is that each of these little buttons will switch one of the uh, symbols for the door over there, and it makes sense, you know? Anyway, um, basically you are essentially cracking a three-set code of stuff so that you can do it, and you push the boxes on the switches so that the lock stays you need them. These switches don't change the locks. These switches make zombies! Ah! Fucking zombies. And basically, yeah, you've gotta push all the boxes you need on all of the locks so that you can get in, get the key, and get out. <laughs> Go away, zombie. I don't like you. That was definitely close. And now we've got the tea. Key, I need tea. And we're out. Let's play the next level. Box Frenzy. You'll notice I'm doing very good at these levels. I've played all three of these levels five, ten times a piece. Yeah. I'm still probably going to fuck up at this point, but you know, whatever. You know, in my first little recordings of this, I was all like, Oh man, I remember this level. I remember hating it. But then I remembered I didn't hate that level, this level all that much because it's easy. You just have to have a decent sense of timing. And even if you don't have one, you just have to make sure you don't run into fucking skeletons. Like that. And once you do that, you're basically clear for the rest of the game. Oh, I missed the skull. I've got to go all the way back to get it. Oh, wonderful, everybody. Can't you tell I'm just feeling positively chipper? Ugh. You're funny because this is really the least of my problems right now. There's a whole bunch of other shit I could be complaining about, but I'm not. Well, at least we have one of my favorite levels after this one. You, Hector, are a lazy man. And why do you wear a pink sweater? A purple sweater. I just noticed that. In all my years of playing Phantom Mansion, I just noticed Hector is wearing a purple sweater. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Make it big. I love this level. This level makes me happy. Because the zombies do all the work for you, and the whole concept of it is pretty cool. Essentially, those switches over there control the floors. And the thing is, they're one-press switches. Once they're down, you don't need to press them again or hold them down. See? Look. They create more floor space. More floor space for you. You can walk around. And basically get everyone to do everything for you. It's fun having zombies be your slaves. Or in this case, basically a lot of skeletons. Either way, they do my bidding for me. And it's just, it's cool to see the floor go from being like little strands to this sort of filled in well. Basically, now the entire room is a uh, is filled sans that, which will be filled in a moment. 
as soon as that skeleton moves its sorry little butt to the box. Why, I gather souls. Let me get the rest. Go in the door and be done with this level forever. Now this next level is called Switch Hitter. <sighs> I can't remember what I'm supposed to do for this level. And quite frankly, I don't really care to remember. Basically, the concept of the level goes a little like this. There are some switches, but you don't have as many boxes there are switches. So you've got to find a way to equally space all of the switches with all of the boxes and then move them when you don't need them. In other words, you just got to get three big areas filled in because you need them filled in for later parts of the game or something. Now that'll do things like that. You see, no, I can't do nothing. And I don't remember how to play this level because each time I said, I don't have enough time to continue on with this level. It's 18 hours. Shut up. I know what time it is. Fuck. Fuck me. So yeah, fun level. If I don't, if I don't finish this before time runs out, I'm I'm not even gonna hackety sack it. I'm really just gonna stop playing. I don't want to deal with this game anymore. And it's not the game. It's not the game. Let me tell you, it's not the game. It's something else entirely. It's the clicks, 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 the clicks. The clicks. <laughs> And the thing is, if this is a problem with my computer, I'm going to be freaking crucified by someone. I don't want to be crucified. I like having my body. It does nice things for me. So I think this one goes over here. No. No, it does not. Um, I can push it back, right? Because I think I know what I got to do. Ugh. You guys don't want to hear me bitch and moan, but that's really all I feel like doing right now. See ya! Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I'm not fighting Scathe. Seriously. Scathe is scary. Scary man! I think I have to put this box on that switch. Again, I'm betting there are like 10 people out there who are all, Hey, I know the exact solution to this puzzle. Derp, derp, derp. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm not even going to kill myself. I'm just going to press restart. That's how lazy I am. I'm too far away to throw myself into the void of death. Ugh. Like I said, that will really fuck you over if you don't take care of it, so make sure you do. Make sure all doors are open before you try to push boxes through them, or chances are there will be shit you can do. Okay, let's push this box the right way for once. Okay, good, good. Okay, so that switch makes a thing over there. A thing. What's this switch do? What's this button do? Okay. I use a key on your door. And I'm pretty much running out of time. And like I said, to preserve my sanity, I will not be yakety saxing this. And oh wait, would you look at that scene? This is what I'm talking about. Ah! You know what? You know what? 
fuck it. Quit level. See, we only have two levels left anyway. See, two. I can do them in the final thing. Maybe I can. Oh, well, what's this door, Fiery? What's this door, Octopus? What's this door, Vampire? Huh, huh, huh? What's this door, FBO? Huh, 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 huh? That's the door you get to go in when you beat the motherfucking game. It's got the final cutscene and shit in it for you. And it's basically impossible to die in that room, so I don't really consider it a level. Then again, I didn't think it was possible to die in the main screen, but courtesy of someone, I forget who it was, I think it was Yada. Yes, it is actually possible to die on the floating screen! Behold! Yay! I died! I just get to take it back to this door. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys.